story of Amardeep Duggal, a British national who was harassed by uh, by uh, the airline officials. Uh, now, Amardeep Duggal was on the Qatar Airways flight to Dubai, was asked to remove his kada and the chain around his neck. He went, he, uh, mind you, he was not asked to remove it earlier while traveling through Dubai and he was refused passage if he doesn't remove the bangle. Now, this is what uh, he has to say, Amandeep. Um, um, Amandeep very clearly saying that his faith has been grossly violated. He was patted down. He was uh, refused passage. And uh, he also says that this was not the treatment that he expected. It was, uh, he feels uh, absolutely uh, very, very uh, hurt about the entire turn of events. Now we try and go across to Danish and Amardeep Dugal has also spoken to Times Now. We'll try and play out what Amardeep Dugal, a, a UK-based politician, a British national, told uh, Times Now. Uh, we're given to understand he was asked to remove the kara that he wears, uh, uh, even though he was not asked to, d to take it off earlier. He was asked to do that later on. Let's take a listen to what Amandeep Dugal had to say. Yeah, well, look, I was going back to London after a political tour of India, and I was flying from Delhi, first staying here for a day, and then flying to London last night. Uh, but I stopped at the security, and I was questioned as to whether I had anything metal inside my turban. Uh, when, I, when I explained to the security guard that I had nothing of such in my turban, he then continued to search my turban and then requested me that I will have to leave my, bang uh, uh, my, my, my bangle, the kara, uh, at the Dubai airport. I refused to do that and I, sh and I tried to reason with him. I said, look, I've traveled to and from Del uh, Dubai many times before wearing the same kara and he said, no, we will have to cut it with a saw and we will have to keep it here. You cannot take it with you on board. And he also asked me to remove a necklace I'm wearing saying that it was a dangerous item. Uh, well, then, I refused to do that, and uh, they said, well, we'll have to cancel your departure stamp, and we'll also cancel, cancel your flight, and you cannot leave uh, the UAE. Well, I stuck to my guns. I said, look, I'm not going to uh, let go of my religion at the expense of your uh, ignorance. So they canceled my departure stamp. They held me at their police office uh, for a few hours last night at Dubai airport. They eventually canceled my departure stamp, also canceled my flight, and then they delayed. They st I still haven't been able to get my luggage back from them, and I'm not sure as to how I'm going to get back to London. This is unacceptable. And there was one remark made by the police officer, because you see, I was wearing an India uh, cricket team jersey. And I said to him, I said, look, be reasonable, sir. And he said, look, listen to me. This is not India. You don't run the show here. This is Dubai. What I say goes. So, you know, it, it was a very hostile environment at a very rude and nasty environment. And I would say that with racial racism, uh, uh, with a racial undertones to it. Well, serious charge that has been laid by um, uh, Amandeep there. Uh, uh, Danish Khan joins us with more details. Yes, Danish. Well, yeah, as we heard, uh, Amandeep, uh, I mean, this is really a, a very trying time for him because he is supposed to be here in Northern Ireland campaigning for himself because, as we know, he, he is the conservative candidate uh, in this constituency. And, of course, he wants to come back and start his canvassing. There are hardly any days left. I mean, really unfortunate incident for him. Amandeep Singh Bhogal is kind of a, uh, is, is appeared here on the political scene. It's very rare for a uh, Indian origin for a Sikh to be a candidate of the conservative in the Northern Ireland. So it was, there are many firsts to his credit and the people that were look, really looking forward to having him around them in the community, working with them, uh, spelling out what are his plans, what are his goals, what does he intend to do. But here we have a situation where instead of being here in Northern Ireland, Amandeep Singh Bhungal is stuck there in the Dubai airport. And of course, the British embassy is now trying to speak to the Dubai authorities there, but uh, nothing seems to be coming up at the moment. Uh, in fact, uh, Amandeep Singh himself was trying to, uh, through Twitter, trying to reach the director of the Dubai airport, and he said that, uh, well, he hasn't been able to get an audience with him. Of course, he's still trying to reach out to higher authorities. Uh, he also told the officer on duty that he would like to speak to his supervisor, but apparently that didn't happen, and uh, as we know, he's still stuck and stranded there when ideally he should be here in the constituency with his people. Well, thanks for that, Danish.